Welcome back to Yakuza Infinite Well. Last time we finished Kazuga's part, and now this time, I'm probably just going to be finishing, depending on how long they last, just the bucket list. And then next episode, we'll be finishing the game. Because I got four of these to do. I got two in Yokohama, two in Kamurocho, so... Hard to believe I'm finally here. Oof. Hopefully. Well, let's begin, shall we? Also, I gotta do the equipment. I know. I'll do it in a second. Smells like something good's cooking, Chief. <sighs> I've got nothing up your alley today. Hard enough just to get a meal around here. I understand. But I'm also confident you'll pull through. You know I pay well for even the tiniest morsel. <laughs> that, I never doubted. This homeless camp is actually part of Sun He's information network. They call that man their chief, and his friends all over town are always coming to him with new. Not gonna lie, I know I'm interrupting this, but it's nice to see Kiryu back in his original, with his original hairstyle and tux. Hmm. I don't know how this is going to end, though. I got a feeling if he dies... Oh, boy. I'm... Stories. Security cams can't catch everything. That's why you can't underestimate word of mouth. Mm. Sorry for keeping you. We owe the chief a lot, so I just wanted to check in on him. Oh, no worries. No worries. Nope, never Come mind. On, okay, let's please. go, Kiryu san. Hey, hold on there, psycho. Oh. Hmm? Is something the matter, Chief? The man's called Suzuki san, no? You ought to be more careful. R right, of course. <sighs> it's tiring, leading a life without being seen. This place is full of folks walking that same path. Your hardships remind me of my own. Tai Chi Suzuki-san. Uh, seems we both have it rough, don't we? <laughs> well, I'm sure it's rougher on you. I hear you were once quite infamous. Unlike myself, nobody ever cared whether I lived or died. I'm sure that's not true. Believe me, it is. And if you need convincing, I've got plenty of past left untold. Uh, sorry, Chief, but Kiri, uh, Suzuki-san might be a little busy right now. That's so. Then I won't hold you here any longer. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I just didn't know how long he might have kept us. That was rather odd, though. Wonder what's gotten into him. What do you mean? The people here never talk about themselves, especially their past. Even I don't know the chief's background. Considering he's the one who started the conversation, maybe he feels a connection with you, Kiryu-san. Hmm. We both live in the shadows, after all. All right, real quick. Okay, I'm going to be changing everyone's classes, but first things first, give you that back. I'm going to worry about this after. I'm just going to put the... Okay, I think we're good. We'll worry about everything else after. Seems like the chief went through a lot before he ended up here. I'm thinking he was ready to tell me some of it. One of the men in the photo must have been him in his younger days. I wonder, should I ask him about it? Chief, about that photo you showed us, who was that person with you? Oh, him. That was my old boss. We used to work at the local factory. Must have been about 10, 20 years ago. Might as well be ancient history now. Back when the sun shined a little brighter for you, you mean? Something like that. 
We've been trudging along a dark and thorny path, you and I. If only we had done a single thing different. Maybe we'd be walking with our heads held a little higher. Yet, here we are now, somehow in each other's company. An odd, once-in-a-lifetime encounter. He's the one on the right. Anyway, mm -hmm. one on the right's me. Yeah. On the left was my boss. I can tell by the face. We called him Captain down at the factory. When I started working after high school, he was the one showing me the ropes. If you've been working straight out of high school, you must have worked a long time. I may not look the part now, but I was once a master mechanic. Couldn't be beat. But when automation took over the industry, it became apparent that my work was unnecessary. Eventually, they stopped hiring younger folk. We knew for years the number of applicants was tapering off. Not that there was anything I could do about it. The skills I spent a lifetime honing could be executed a dozen times faster by robots. Naturally, the company moved forward with plans to restructure, and Cap himself had the honor of giving me the boot. That must have been hard for you and the captain. Cap, well, he and I were like family. But if he didn't fire me, then he'd be the one out on the streets. That left him with only one option, to hand me my dismissal. At that time, I was almost 50. I thought my whole life was over. But then, he said that he'd quit with me, that he'd look after me. He did that for you? Wasn't like he had any job security either. Our jobs were destined to disappear. I was merely the first in line. So, we walked out the door one final time, side by side. And sure enough, the place was shuttered soon after. After so many years of service, the severance pay was peanuts. At least we didn't have any families to feed. And that's how you ended up homeless? Yeah. That's when I started to camp here. Had I been alone, I would have died a dog's death real fast. Cap was a lot smarter than me. The man took to his new lifestyle quickly. Occasionally, there'd be folks harassing us, but he'd take the lead and fight back. Everyone around him started to trust him, and eventually, he inherited the title of chief. So you can only become chief through secession. That's right. It's a practice that's lasted generations. There have even been times when folks from the underground would make us do them favors in exchange for protection. Cap, stout-hearted man that he was, didn't flinch. As chief, he'd do anything to protect us. He continued to shoulder the burden all by himself. <sighs> until his body gave out. He didn't bother seeing a doctor. But I bet he knew he had late-stage cancer. Oh, that's why he's opening up about this. Because Kiryu has... yeah. Since you're the chief now, that means he... I called out for him one morning about seven, eight years ago. But he was dead in his tent. I think it was the most peaceful I've ever seen him. And maybe it was. Because he could finally set aside the heavy burden that had been weighing him down. Me. And that's why you took on his role? To start paying it forward? Exactly. The entire time he was with me, I never took responsibility for anything. And now, at my ripe old age, I finally get a taste of the constant pressure he was under. Chief. Nobody's filled me in on why you were forced into hiding, going as far as erasing your name. But I've heard you're not taking care of your illness, even though you're still giving Kasuka aid. A lot like what Cap did with me. Mm, something like that. Yeah. If you find that living is no longer worthwhile, the final call is yours. There's no law saying you gotta see a doctor if you're sick. However, if by any chance you change your mind, you can always come back here. You're welcome to stay at the camp for as long as I'm chief. I never got the chance to repay Cap's kindness, 
but I figure helping people like you is a step in the right direction. Well, I appreciate the thought, but I can't accept your offer right now. Sorry. Yeah, I'm aware. You still got business to take care of, don't you? <sighs> At any rate, I'm glad I got to speak with you, Suzuki-san. And sorry for making you listen to such an old story. No need to apologize. I learned a lot from your story. Thanks for sharing, Chief. It's really good. Oh. The Chief's friend would run the place and he just ended up working himself to death. Oof. Alright, there should be one more somewhere. Memoirs of a dragon. We're almost done awakening. Oh man, we are almost there. I kid you not, Beast and Brawler are basically there. I want to go to Kamurocho. I think we'll go to Kamurocho. Alright. Oh. Well, at least I have to worry about dating with Kiryu. Oh yeah, how much money do I have? 57,000 yen, okay. Hello? I want to go to Kamurocho. 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 Alright. There should be two. Yep, there's one there, and... I don't see the other one. Okay. Let's do this one first. Honestly, Kiryu's, um... Uh, these bonds do not have any gameplay, but the story that is with them is really good. Oh, this is an actual point. Ew, tech for me to read. Anyone else? This is just another completely ordinary, desolate back alley. But it means something special to me. After all, this is where I had it out with Daigo. Back then, it was just another good for nothing punk. To think that's the same guy who climbed the ranks, becoming the chairman of the Tojo clan, and later lead the Great Disillusion for the sake of the Yakuza. He's really come a long way. Ah. That takes me back. His strength is still near today. There's no time for you to waste away, Daigo. Alright. Alright. Still have more. Where? Hmm. We're so close to finishing. I just have one more in Yokohama. Feels like I might meet someone. And then this one is... I can't remember. Which... Okay. So in other words, Yokohama is going to come first because I have to meet someone. I did all my lifelinks. So it's not that. Taxi? There's supposed to be a taxi here. Okay. No taxi for me. Hmm. Just one more quick glance. I don't see it. Okay.
All right, I believe there's something in here waiting for me. I'm... The keyword is I think. Oh, God darn it. There we go. Oh, she's all honked out. That's not who I was talking about. I think it's... Nope. Nope. We gonna fight some more? No, not really. Oh, wait, I might have to change the time of day. Hello, mama. Um... Yeah. Well, let me eat everything you have, and then I'm gonna go change the time of day. Because that would make sense on not seeing the rest. To think I could have Yukke Jung Guk Bop in a place like this. What? What was that word? Uh, what? Y nothing like Yukke it. Yukke Jung Bong? Huh. This place sure does have an international menu. Japanese style pickles, curry, even that Korean beef soup you ordered. You're right. Just shows we've got people from all over. Nah, these are just the mama here's favorites. She's got a pretty eclectic taste. Oh, really? Well, if she's serving food from all over, how about adding some Chinese to the menu? Maybe I'll teach her a recipe or two. <laughs> hey, good idea. What are you thinking? Mmm, fried rice, maybe chili shrimp. The stove at this place doesn't look too hot. If it ain't burning, it ain't real Chinese. We need big fire. Huh? You good? What's got you so worked up all of a sudden? That's probably just his inner pyro talking. He's not wrong, though. Guess Zhao will have to wait until they improve their stove. A worthy investment if this place wants to stay afloat. You guys, the mama's giving us the stink eye. At this point, we'll be lucky if they ever serve Chinese. <laughs> okay, okay. Ah, evasion. Okay. Thanks for buying. That was great. And you're all gonna be wasted. Okay. We gotta go to my apartment. Ah, there it is. Okay. I'm gonna change the time of day and we're gonna see if the other two show up. I hope they do. I forgot that the time of day might matter. All right, let me see. This time it I can't change time of day, can I? Noob. Okay. Mm. Found it. Picture perfect. I wasn't even trying to get a picture of that. Okay. Damn. 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 Well, so much for that. All right, I found how to change up time. You just have to go to survive. So 100% my bad. I'm sorry about that. I'm just an idiot. For some reason, I thought I had to go to Ichiban's apartment. You don't. Okay, now I can do these last two, and then I guess I can immediately start. Kyoko said Yuki's place is around here. Hmm. Gin Shireen? Has this always been here? Come on, come in! Come one, come all, and get your fill of sushi! Ah, oh, don't tell me. Quit your jabbering and stuff your pie hole with sushi! Don't be shy, sit your bum down and enjoy! What the hell is she doing? Oh, apparently shooting for the stars. What's this? A customer? Ah, oh, damn. Oh god, my first customer this whole week? Welcome. Hmm? <clears> hmm? <throat> I'm, uh, Suzuki. Oh my gosh, it's Kiryu-san! Well, so much for that. Well, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Places. How did you even hear about this place? 
Koyuki told me, actually. Oh, gotcha. Anyway, please come this way. Come on, come in and get your fill of sushi. <sighs> sure thing. Wow, the sound of the town immediately just decided to enhance in volume. It's been so long, Kiryu-san. Like, what, 15, 16 years? Has it now? Time really does fly. Can't believe a legendary hostess is making people sushi. <laughs> now I've seen it all. <laughs> did that surprise you? It did, yeah. So, why sushi? Well, I've always wanted to run my own restaurant. Didn't matter how big or small it'd be. And since my specialty is Chirashi Sushi, I just figured, why not give it a shot with my best dish? <laughs> you know? Not a bad plan. The fact that you can put your hard-earned money toward making your dream a reality is impressive in itself. So, how's business? Doing well? Yeah, yeah! Uh, no, not at all. I make a pretty mean bowl of Chirashi, too. Maybe it just doesn't pair well with booze? Hmm, maybe. Who knows? But you used to be known as the legendary hostess, right? So if you called up some of your old customers, they'll definitely come running. Yeah, I know, I could, but I can't. Doesn't feel right, you know? How so? I mean, if people only ever came here to see me, wouldn't you feel bad for the food? Because then it doesn't matter what I make for them. I shouldn't have to rely on my old rep when I'm trying to run a sushi place. It's just not right. It'd be a totally different story if I had a bar instead or a joint that runs on service and hospitality. But at my place, the Chirashi belongs in the limelight. I want people to come for my sushi, not me. Well said. Classic Yuki. You think so? I do. Sure, at first glance, things may seem overwhelming, but you've got your own principles and ideals, and you never let yourself get carried away. It's very like you. You could have gone with the trends to keep Forshine on top for over 10 years, but I'm sure it was just as important to you to strike the right balance between old and new. You stayed the best of the best because you managed to do exactly that. You've got what it takes to be a great business owner. <laughs> Probably. You really think so? <laughs> and your laugh's as creepy as ever. But it doesn't change the fact that my place ended up being a total flop. I've got so much time on my hands, I get so bored. Koyuki told me you were super busy, though. Did you lie to her? Well, yeah, I had to. I mean, I kept raving to her about taking on a new challenge, so telling her I've got nothing but time on my hands is so lame. I don't want her to worry about me either. If I told her my place was practically a barren wasteland, I feel like she'd swing by every single day. Hmm, fair point. Koyuki admires you a lot. Always has, always will. <laughs> that just made my whole day. The only reason I can even try all these new ventures is because someone as reliable as Koyuki-chan supporting me. I really appreciate her. But she's always been a hard worker. I'm a little worried she'll collapse out of sheer exhaustion one day. Hmm, about that. Things are looking a little rough on her end right now. Huh? Her club's about to have its grand opening, but they're short on staff because some guys have been harassing them. Koyuki's been doing what she can, but the new club's pretty big. I don't know if she can handle all the customers when it opens for business. Doesn't look like she's feeling great, either. Oh gosh, really? I'd totally lend her a hand if she told me. She just didn't want you to worry about her. Even said she didn't want to drag you down since you told her how busy you were. Oh, I'm not really that busy, though. Guess it's on me for trying to show off. Now I feel awful. Kiryu-san, would it be wrong if I help out Koyuki-chan? Do you think it'd annoy her? Why are you asking me about what Koyuki'd think? I'm sure you already know the answer yourself. Yeah, you're right, Kiryu-san. Thank you. No more being distant. Whenever Koyuki-chan's in a pinch, I'll always be there to help her. The two of us are like sisters, after all. I'm gonna pack up, get ready to head out to Komrocho and all. I hope you'll come for Forshine's grand opening, too. If I have the time. All right, 
Time for this old lady to show off what she's got. I take it the last one is Four Shine, and then that's all of them. Yuki's gonna be a huge help. I should swing by Four Shine to have the chance. Yep. Yeah, okay, the last one is gonna be that one. Okay. Oh, wait, does that mean I can actually eat there? Yes. Oh. I mean, why not? It restores 200 HP. Might as well. She needs the money. Or a customer, not the money. Now I can finish off these memoirs and, and bucket list, and I think I can immediately change my classes and finish the game. Yep, let me see, and... I was ex Oh, there it is, I'm blind. Well, actually, no. No, 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 no. I'm gonna do something real quick. Nope, nope, sorry about that. I'm gonna change my classes, because when I'm done with this, I will be doing the story, because I've only been doing this for, what, 25 minutes? Hello, happy. How are you meant to choose? All of them are locked, because you have to... Not bad. Yeah. Maybe it's time Makes to change sense. styles. Eh, whatever works. Number. I really like the tech inspector. <laughs> this isn't bad. Just find something presentable. First impressions are key. Oh, I'm in love with it. <laughs> I could make this hard to improve on perfection. I got a lot of weapons for you. It's my section. Do distract. Ooh, I make this look an important decision. It gets the job done. I'm not leaving until it's perfect. All right, what do I want with you? Um, I got linebacker, uh, pyro dancer. I could do. Um. Yeah, we'll do a heart drum dick. Okay. Right, he's good. She needs something. Boost magic. Will power an invasion. Actually, why not? No, 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 not, not that. That. There we go. Actually, yes, 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 yes. Um, let me get rid of. Damn, I want to get rid of one of these, but mm, they're both really good. Okay. I want you. That is it, right? Yep, removed from the box. Good, good, good. Little bail. Iron. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You don't need anything. And now it's time. I'm gonna be taking that off you, man. And then... Mithril Brooch. Oh wait, uh, why did I do that? I'm an idiot. Okay. You have that. Okay, we'll keep you. Alright, Homeless Guy King is your best weapon. Protector. No, 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 no. We'll give you the... Okay, your willpower. Good. Okay, you're a magic caster, so we're gonna give you that, and then because I have that, I'm gonna give you this. Alright, you're good. Dolphin bag. No gear. Alright, we're gonna give you the crimson jacket. Iron Gata. 
Um, I'm gonna give you the tactical boots. No, I'll actually, I'm gonna give her the tactical boots. Oh yeah, you'll keep the mouth guard, and then I'm gonna also increase your willpower. Sorry. Ice saber, because he has a lot of weapons. I mean, I don't have to worry about that. Yeah, we're good there. And I'm going to give you something that increases your physical attack. Because you are more than just magic. I'm going to also give you a black belt. No, you know what? I'm going to equip that and give it to you instead. And now you. Oh my god, that looks really nice. Yep, she has her jacket. The only one that doesn't have one, these two don't have one, I think I'll get at the end when I go up the Millennium Tower. Alright, you are getting the tactical boots. Um, I might remove that, but okay, we are good. Now, I'm sorry about that. I want to beat the game, this game with all the base classes. Or at least attempt to. Everyone has moves. I like the skill inheritance. That's really good. Now let's finish the sub-stories and continue. Hey, Yuki. Oh, hey, Kiryu-san. So this is Forshine Tokyo, huh? Never imagined our club would make its way here. Let's end this. To think our tiny little cabaret that nearly went under would come so far. Uh, sorry, I'm getting a little emotional. You were against expanding to Kanto, weren't you? Nah, I wasn't exactly against it. I just, you know, never found the courage. I was scared of failing and losing everything that we built. That's why I could never bring myself to do it. But Koyuki-chan's amazing. She knew the risks and still pressed forward. No matter the end result, this is a huge first step. Yeah, you're right. Yo, asshole! You really did a number on me last time. Who's he? A friend of yours? Does he look like a friend? Big friend. A club's turnout on day one shows how it's gonna do in the future, so we figured we'd crash the party. <laughs> okay. Yuki, stand back. What? You gonna stop us, Grandpa? I'd like to see you try. Come on, it's your bedtime. Oh man, people just never know. Let's beat him down. Watch it, we're drunk. Let me see, do you have a grapple on you? <laughs> no guard break. Try and stop. All right. Oh, come on, guys. I won't hold that. There we go. Hope you're ready. Ooh. Back in the game. No begging for burn. I'm tired to shine. I'll follow your lead. Good now. Oh, there we go. Feels nice to be back to this group, even though I really love Kazuga, but mm, I like the style he has in battle. Ugh. Never mind. Alright then. All done cleaning up the entrance. Let's take a look inside, Yuki. Okay. Hello. I'm sorry, 
we're not open yet. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! What? Yuki-san? Hey there, Koyuki-chan. I heard you were in a pickle, so I came to help out. Well, if that's okay, that is. Of course that's okay. Why wouldn't it be? But aren't you super busy with your restaurant? Well, about that. I'm not busy at all. I just wanted to look cool in front of you. I'm so, so sorry. Hmm. Uh, wait, really? Yeah, really. She had a lot of time on her hands. <laughs> a lot uh, of time. Truth hurts. <laughs> Yuki-san! Whoa there, what's wrong? Uh, nothing, I, I just... I just really, really wanted to see you. I was so lonely without you. Koyuki-chan! I wanted to see you too. You're doing great, you know. <laughs> hey, it's about time to open up shop, isn't it? Don't you need to get ready? Oh, right. Uh, Yuki-san, do you mind lending me a hand? Of course I don't mind. Wow, after all these years, I can't believe I get to be a hostess again. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, I am so stoked. Come on, this way, Yuki-san. You just sit tight, Kiryu-san. All right. Don't make me run the host club again. I did that, yeah. <laughs> they still got the statue. <laughs> Isn't that a goal? Yeah. Yeah, that's Sorry the statue. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think? Hmm, I think beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> you look stunning, Yuki-san. With you around, it's like we've got a hundred girls working the floor. But today's the grand opening, right? If only we had another first-rate hostess here to really get things rolling. Hmm, but do we know anyone like that? Hmm, a first-rate hostess, huh? I might know someone. Huh? You do? That's great! Could you please, please, please ask her? Sure. I'll give her a call. Why is my mind going blank? Oh, psycho. I was wondering what's all the hurry, but I never expected you to call me over to a cabaret club. Who's this? A friend of mine, Saiko. She's the mama of her own club back in Yokohama. I'm Koyuki. Oh, sorry for having you come all the way here, Saiko-san. And I'm Yuki. I've known Kiryu-san for pretty much forever. Yuki and... Koyuki? No way. Yuki-san and Koyuki-san as in the legendary hostesses of Four Shine? Sotenbury's number one cabaret club? Uh, yep. We sure are. Oh my god! Oh, this is incredible. I can't believe I'm meeting actual legends. I have read your cabaret management book over and over, Yuki-san. <laughs> Thank you. That's sweet. Now, when did you get published? Uh, it just happened to happen one day. Man, what was I even thinking? But hearing how someone read it from cover to cover makes me real happy. Um, anyway, today's our grand opening, Psycho-san, but we're a little short-staffed. I'm sorry this is all so last minute, but do you think you could help us out? We'll definitely pay you and all, so... Yes, of course, I'd love to. Oh, this would be such a great learning opportunity. And it's such an honor to work alongside you both. Awesome! Thank you so much. So, do we have enough hostesses? Yes, all thanks to you, Kiryu-san. But we still have one more role to fill. Manager. Hmm? What role? Wait, don't tell me. <laughs> Yep. Well, it's nice to see him back in a suit and tie. And his hair went back to normal. Wow, black really suits you, Kiryu-san. Just like old times, right? Sure takes me back. Ooh, you look real handsome. <laughs> Sorry, we don't have many guys working today either. I really appreciate you stepping in. <laughs> Ooh, hold up. You were a manager at Four Shine, Kiryu-san? How'd that happen? Long story. When you live as long as I have, you experience all sorts of things. 
Psycho, if you look behind you, you see a golden statue of Kiryu. I'm already dressed for the part, so I might as well go all the way. Let's make this a night to remember. <laughs> exactly! It's nearly opening time! Ready, ladies? Forshine Tokyo is open for business! Finally over. That was a great showing, as expected of the Kansai giant Forshine. Great work, everyone. Y'all did amazing out there. Oh, that goes for you too, Kiryu-san. And I really can't thank you enough, Yuki-san, Saiko-san. Thanks to everyone's efforts, we made it through the night. When I took over for Yuki-san, I didn't want people thinking Forshine was done for the moment it changed hands. That's why I kept pushing to expand to Kanto. But in the end, I just exhausted myself. Honestly, I feel awful for dragging you all into my mess. I wish I could have gone about it better. Yuki-san would have done a better job for sure. I'm really sorry for my incompetence. Uh, Koyuki. What are you saying, Koyuki-chan? You attempted something I never had the courage to do. Just that by itself is amazing. I wouldn't have even gone for it. Like, yeah, it's true there are things I can do that you can't right now. But same goes the other way around. There are lots of things you can do that I can't even imagine. So you just keep doing you, Koyuki-chan, and give everything 100%. There's really no need to copy me. Not when you've got plenty going for you. Plus, you've got skill, trust me. So believe in yourself. I want you to shine bright as the star of your own show, all right? Yuki-san. <laughs> Yuki-san! Whoa! <laughs> She's amazing. I think I get why everyone calls her the legendary hostess. Yeah. Me too. I remembered that game mini game by the way. So much. It was Yakuza. Was it two or one? It might be one. No, wait. Eh, I don't remember. Holy cow! But yeah, I remember it. Much for today. You've got a handle on things now. Yeah, and I think the harassment will die down thanks to you, Kiryu-san. Oh, you're punching. I'm gonna give it one hundred percent for the sake of my precious foreshine. Come stop by again sometime. You too, Psycho-san. I'd love to. Keep at it, Koyuki-chan. I think I need to step up my game too. Gotta keep my restaurant afloat. By the way, what kind of restaurant are you running, Yuki-san? You never told me. Sushi. Oh, she didn't? It's a Chirashi sushi place. Huh? But why sushi of all things? <laughs> oh, you know. You experience all sorts of things when you live as long as I have. Anyway, my business hasn't taken off at all, so I ought to learn from your example and do my best. Well, we can't have your restaurant go under. I'll visit you every day and have chirashi for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah, I thought you'd say that. But don't worry about me, all right? Just focus on your club. <laughs> all right. Well, guess this is it then. You ladies take care. Uh, what's up? Since we're all here, why don't we do that thing one last time before we head out? That thing? Oh, right. That. Yeah, let's do it! You too, Saiko-san. How about it? That... Oh, that thing from the photo in Yuki-san's book! All right, fine. Might as well sign off with that. Okay, here goes! Let's wish each other all the best in our future endeavors! One... Two... Three... Four time! time! 
And done. Ooh, wait, they're palmates. Hmm. Now I'm curious what they do. Are they healing, buffing? They uh I don't know. I got the hostess, the host guys. But that I got them. Hmm. Okay, so this is a weird, weird, weird scenario for me. Um don't worry, I haven't paused or anything. I'm just looking around. So, weird scenario for me. I am about a... Almost getting close to 50 minutes in. And I know the end of the game is going to take probably... An hour and a half to two hours, like they usually do. So, the problem is, is do I call the episode here, call it extremely short... And have the next episode be the finale finale. I honestly don't know. Also... I... Eh. I was making a noise because that looked raw. <laughs> and... It's good and all, but sometimes good. you just need seafood. And Conroy here has some of the best squid in town. Yeah, what perfect texture. Great stuff. You aware the squid you love so much might have actually come from outer space? Uh, huh? You mean they're aliens? What the heck? Oh, I get it. It's because they look just like the Martians in those old movies and anime. Am I right? No. I'm talking a real deal scientific theory here. Their brains are pretty big compared to their bodies, and on top of that, they've got tons of nerves, most of which are gathered in their tentacles. Mm -hmm. So, it's said that each tentacle is kind of like its own computer that can operate independently of the main brain. I mean, that's nothing special. I can move my left and right arms independently. It's not a competition, you know. Squid's pretty different from anything else on Earth, so... It's speculated they either came from space or evolved after coming in contact with an ancient virus from a meteorite. Crazy. Now that you mention it, I could see that. They really do seem otherworldly. I notice you have a penchant for tall tales, Jal. Where'd you hear this one? From a magazine I was flipping through at the convenience store. Pretty neat, huh? Well, that brought me right back down to Earth. <laughs> You're surprisingly gullible, son, John. Well, whether you believe it or not is all on you. Personally, I don't care if they're from this planet or somewhere else. As long as they taste good. Huh. Nothing like embracing diversity. By eating extraterrestrials? Yep. That's right, you eat that diversity. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, I thought it was something I could do for the rest of the video. Well, it's going to be a very Adiós. short one, but still. All right, let's go to the bucket list. I need body. I just need a a bit of body. All right. I can dine out 50 times as Kiryu. Wait, really? Wait, so I can just do this? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, great. The food. Let's food. see if that went up. Not gonna lie, I forgot the number. Alright, that's at 37. 37. Thanks for buying. That was great. The food. Food. They're gonna vomit by the time I'm done with this. If it is working. Okay. Oh. 30. Okay. Uh Excellent. Alright, well. I'm gonna speed that up in the recordings, don't worry. Or from the video. But we're done. Memoirs of the Dragon are done. Unfinished business? Well, yeah, I mean, there's too much there for me, I hate to say. I'm gonna pass on that. Oh, I could just do that. Oh, that would have been way easier. Oh, well. But yeah, that's done. My awakening is done. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful awakening. Well, bonds are done. Wait. Oh, never mind.
Yeah. We're all done. Everything is done. I'm done. Also, yeah, I'm gonna make them sick of beef tongue. They're done. Oh, come on. Why do the taxis keep doing that? That's the Millennium Tower. Well, this is gonna be a very short video. I know it is. But there's gonna be... Where are all the taxis? What is this? I need to get out of town. Ah. Uh, Alright. But yeah, I... There's too much at the end of these games that happen that I am going to call huh. here. I sworn I saw something just... Should I open it? Nice. Oh, cool. Okay. What's going on? Where are the taxis? No, I, I am not joking. Where are the taxis? I, I want to leave so I can actually... At least you're here. Okay. But yeah, I'm gonna call it here. It's gonna be a very short one. This is me just finishing everything for, you know, cure you and everybody. Maybe I will off screen drop by here, Julia, Julie, and see if our gear is good. But right now, personally, I'm happy with the weaponry. Yeah. I think next time will be the last time. Maybe I'll do New Game Plus, maybe I'll do other things, but right now it's... <sighs> yeah. Everything's done. Everything's awakened. Ugh. <sighs> This will likely be my last battle. Once I've wrapped up my business and finished preparing, I'll ask the Daidoji agent to take us to Kamarocho. I really hope it's not his final battle, but the only the problem is is he still has a limited time, but we'll see. But that's the next time video. This is a really short one, like I said. But I do not want another three-hour video. I'm looking at you, side quests. Yeah. Until next time. Which will probably be the last time. Goodbye.